Hey guys, Dustin with Industrial Injection here. We're at the Mid-America uh, Truck Show uh, 2025. And one of the cool things that we've got out here is our torque lock injector cup kit for the uh, single overhead cam ISX. Um, this thing has been an amazing product. It helps a lot of people. We've sold a lot of these over the last year or so. Um, but I don't know if we've ever really unboxed one and shown you guys what's inside the box and what you get. So let's dive into that now. Come along with me and let's show you what we get. So you get this nice box that you can put on your shelf. Made in America. Open that thing up. Got a nice sticker, which is always nice. But basically, I'll prop this up. You're gonna have everything in this box to be able to do the job. So starting with your instructions, which I urge everybody to read this. There's a video and a couple other things tied to this that you can watch you can go on YouTube it. There's a few things, but read the instructions, read my notes that I put in there on this thing, and it'll help you with this job creating it really good. So one of the main, main things is the tap magic that you're gonna need to uh, use for when we're tapping the, the head and the factory cup. So be sure to, to use this, watch, read the instructions and uh, use it. Like there's enough here to do a lot. Um, use that, that stuff up. So it has a nice desk can pack in there to try to keep the rust and stuff down on the, on the tools. A lot of it's stainless, some of it's mild steel, and then we have some other metals. So. So obviously in this package, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna uh, pull our, our plug rod out and open up our O-rings. So we've got these plugs that come in it. These plugs and these O-rings go on these plugs. These things right here are what allow you to be able to do this on the truck. You basically take the injector out, put this plug down in the hole with the O-rings on it, as the instructions say, and that will allow you to do all your machine work and not get any uh, metal shavings or anything into the um, the into the chamber or into the the cylinder. So we got that, and then um, we've got a guide ring. We've got two taps. We've got the the extractor or puller, and we've got the the tool that installs the six cups. So we've got our patented six cup design here. Um, we've we've added enough stuff in this kit so that you can do the complete job by putting six plugs in, doing all your machine work at one time. So you're not you're not doing one, switching everything over to another, switching everything over to another. You can go in and use this A tap to get all the cups threaded and so you can pull them out. Then you can go on to the next one and, and use the B tap. These are really nice uh, made in America hand built taps. They last a long time. They're, they'll, they'll do a lot of these cups for you. So we've, uh, we've spent the money on making a nice quality tap for you. Yeah, so it comes with everything you can do to, to do this job, get it done really quickly. I got guys telling me that they're doing it in six to eight hours pretty easily. All right, so let's dive on into it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your six uh, plugs and with the O-rings on them, I'm not putting the O-rings on them because we're just gonna set it down in here we're not gonna leave it in here because it won't sit in there, but basically the O-rings will hold that in and then you can unscrew the, the rod and it's clearance so it sits down in there so you can do all your machine work. It's clearance with the tap, so that stays down in there. Now obviously you're gonna have a, a cup that's installed down in here and we're trying to get this cup out, but it's been stretched and pulled so it's not gonna fit down in there and I don't wanna shove it down in there. But, so you have your cup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're trying to get this cup out. So we go in with our tap A and they're labeled. So you got tap A and you use the guide ring that comes in the kit. Tap A comes down in and the cup's in there. Tap A is gonna come in and, and basically tap this cup. So we tap that cup, we put that aside we got to use the guide ring, but we can go ahead and put the tap away. But what you'll, you'll do at this point is you'll go in and take that and tap every cup all along there. Then you put that tap away. Once that's tapped, you blow out the threads, lube everything up, definitely read the instructions, go through. Lubrication's your friend on this. You're lubing up the shaft on here, you're lubing up this nut. Use a Molly Libdom lube, like a, an ARP lube on this. And then uh, you know put a nice oil or something on this as well. So when you thread that in, you bring that down like the, the um, 
it, it recesses in and sets into here. Thread that in. Basically, don't crimp it down and tighten it tight. Just thread it in a, a few threads. Then you, you basically tighten this and it extracts your stock cup out of the hole. So you go ahead and do that on all six. Now you have all the cups out and you can go in here. You got all the cups out. Then you go in with tap A, sorry, tap B. So then you go in here with tap B, use the same guide ring, and now we're gonna tap the cylinder head. So then we go in and tap the cylinder head, run it down to the bottom, take the tap back out, tap all six other holes. You can put your guide ring away back in your package. You can put your tap away. You can use a vacuum and blow out and vacuum out all that stuff. You don't want to blow everything out in here. So I, I go in and vacuum it and use a brush, brush it out, vacuum it, clean that all up. Then you're ready to install your cup. So, so with that still installed, you leave the plug still down in there. Now you're ready to install your injector cup. So as you can see on these cups, this is the, the O-ring that they, they come with. I mean, this is a really thin, uh, I don't know what this design, it's more like a like a dust seal or something, but when this thing is, is crushed into, into the, the, the bore, it's so distorted, I, I don't know how that seals anyway. And, and then it also is, is loosening up here. The, the, the reason that we want to lock this in and torque this down is because we want it to be secured to one part of this head somewhere. The, the issue is, is it just floats around in there as this head's twisting and distorting. So then it loosens up and you have coolant coming out and going right into your fuel, at your fuel return and you start getting water in your fuel. So basically this is, this is no good. So what we do is we've designed this that threads in, locks into the bottom of your bore. We also have a lot better O-ring sill up on the top end of this. So we lube this up with some oil. We put some anaerobic sealer on here. Go ahead and thread that down in there. This is our, and we'll do it with this one that doesn't have O-rings on it. We thread this down in, comes with the tool to lock it in. And we lock that in, torque it at 55 foot-pounds. Bam, you pull that out, you do that on all six. You go ahead and drop your, your uh, rod back in, pull out your plug, you're ready to stock, put the injectors back in, put the top end back together. Your cups aren't leaking anymore, and you go about your way. You do this on the truck, that's a big benefit and uh, you don't have to take the valve springs off or anything. It's all, all done there on the truck. This will save the driver money, they'll save the shop money. You keep these, you keep the parts, we sell just the cups only. So you can do this job multiple times. You can find these on industrialinjection.com or give us a call, we'll get you squared away.